Hello! So Socrates said that the unexamined life is not worth living. And because I recently turned 27, oh my god, I'm getting old. I thought it would be fun to share some of the lessons that I've learned that took me this far. Some of these are going to be serious and helpful and others are going to be kind of funny. And you're probably going to learn a lot about me and the life that I've lived just by listening to these lessons. Here we go. Number one is your parents and adults don't necessarily know the best. I think that when you're young, you think that just because someone is a grown-up, they always have your best interests at heart and they always know the best. But then when you yourself become an adult, you realize that a lot of the things that adults in your life told you as a kid was just nonsense and you should not have listened to it. Maybe this is a bit contradictory because I'm giving life advice in this video, but shoot, being different is amazing. I think when you're a kid, you want to fit into this mold and you don't want to stand out a lot, especially if you're Scandinavian. But actually the way you are different from other people is what makes you unique and it's going to make you stand out. And your weirdness can actually take you quite far in life. So never try and fit in if it's not actually you. Eat your weird breakfast and post it on YouTube. Always know yourself. Make yourself your own personal research product. Figure out what are your strengths, your weaknesses, what you like doing, what you not like doing. That is the only way that you're actually going to live the life that you want to live. In addition to that, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. So if you don't have your own goals, your own purpose and passion in life, you're going to spend time following someone else's passion or purpose. So it's very important to figure out what you stand for what you find important and live by that so that you don't get knocked down by other people. Invest in good quality shoes and a jacket. I know that you can get some good looking pair of shoes for like 20 euros but your feet are going to hurt. Spend those extra euros and get a pair of shoes that you can actually walk in without pain and a nice jacket that is going to last you for 20 winters. It's so worth it. Failure is everything. This is something that I always heard as a teenager, but I couldn't relate to it until I became an adult. Because actually, success doesn't really teach you that much. It's failure that is going to teach you the most about yourself and it's going to eventually help you push forward. The people I know who have achieved a lot in life and who give the best life advice are also people who have gone through the most hardship. On that note, life is hard. Humans have this idea of life being fair and if you just work hard and if you're a nice person then things will work out for you. But the truth is that life doesn't care about humans' ideas of fairness. So you're going to experience difficulties even when you don't deserve what is happening to you. Having friends is beautiful. <laughs> Maybe this one is kind of obvious, but having a nice group of friends that you connect with and you can hang out with is just so nice and if you can find that try and nurture those friendships and hold on to them therefore don't waste your time hanging around the wrong type of people if some of your friends make you feel bad then just walk away you can find other people that you can make brilliant jokes with no one is irreplaceable always have a backup plan and a backup plan for the backup plan i used to go with this notion that if i had a goal i should just stick with that plan never have a plan B and just charge ahead. But as I mentioned, life can be hard and things don't work out the way that you think or want them to work out. Therefore, you should always make sure that you have some kind of backup plan that you can uh, fall onto if plan A doesn't work out. Don't meet your heroes. They are not who you think they are. Some of them actually are and in that case they can be a great mentor. But at some point you also realize that a lot of the people that you look up to are actually not that great. <laughs> Let's continue with number 12, I think. If you're angry with yourself, with someone else, or the world in general, try and understand why you are angry right now. Like, did you have expectations that were not met? Or are you actually angry about something else in your life and that is transferring to anger in other areas? Invest in your own health. Maybe you're a student and you're living off noodles and you don't want to spend money on a gym membership, but if there's anything that you should spend money on, it's yourself. When I'm done filming this video, I'm going to the gym. Whatever you do, especially in your work, 
try to do it well because whatever you did as long as you did it well that's still going to matter even if you move on to another position or another project so whatever you do always try to do it well but also you are more than you work <laughs> i used to and i still to some extent do tie my own self-worth to the work that i'm doing and that is bad you are a whole human being with a wide range of personalities traits and skills it's not just the work that you're doing. It doesn't matter how fast you're going if you're going in the wrong direction. I used to always like, charge ahead towards whatever goal I had set for myself. And then when you get there, you realize that, hmm, this is not actually what I wanted. I want to do something else entirely. So always take some time, take a step back and think, is this the direction that I want to head? Start saying no a lot more so as you get older you realize what kind of things energize you and what kind of things drain you and you want to say no to anything that drains you if it's not hell yeah i want to do this then you should say no i know it's hard especially if you're a bit of a people pleaser and you want to say yes to everything but life is so much nicer for everyone if you learn to say no to the things that you don't actually want to do. Spend time being bored. You're going to find out a lot more about yourself and have a lot more ideas if you just shut out the world for a little bit, turn off your phone and you just sit there alone with your mind being bored. And I think you can realize a lot about your life by noticing the places your mind drifts to when you are bored. You're probably the same person that you were when you were five years old. This takes some time to realize because when you're in your 20s, you try out all of these different things and you almost go through different types of persona in your 20s. And then once you start to grow up a little bit, you actually realize that you are pretty similar to who you were when you were a child. Planning and doing are two different things. So I noticed this with myself that it's very easy to kind of start dreaming and plan all of these things that you're going to do but they're actually not going to happen if you don't sit down and do them like your code is not going to be finished unless you take the time to sit by your laptop and work on it you're not going to build your youtube channel if you don't post videos so have a bit of a um, bias towards doing rather than planning don't be afraid of change everything is scary before you take the leap and you do it i used to be terrified of going abroad like i remember when i was going to study my master in the netherlands i was like oh i was questioning so much if i should just stay in scandinavia and not move but looking back i'm so happy that i dared being brave and go abroad so if you realize that you're not fully happy in your current situation don't be afraid to change something because usually the choices that you make are not permanent and you can go back sometimes talking to your friends is the solution so if you're anything like me and you like to deal with your problems internally and by yourself and not tell people that you're feeling bad, I want you to know that usually just talking to other people and getting their perspective is going to help you. And there is actually a scientific reason for this that you can look up. Your body is going to change and that is okay. It's going to make you appreciate the health tips a lot more. And you also learn to appreciate and accept your body a lot more as you get older. Like many young women, I used to have the craziest insecurities about every single part of my body except for like my ankles. And as you get older, you like realize that the shape of your earlobe is okay. First impressions are often wrong. When I used to meet new people, I was sometimes a bit too harsh to judge them from the first conversation. Because once I spent more time with them and I started getting to know them a lot more, I realized that they were actually great people. They are this complex and multifaceted person that I can be great friends with, even if I didn't think so at first. Worry more about the kind of job that you're doing and the skills that you'll learn rather than the title. This is something I notice a lot in academia that a lot of people want to like really get that like professor title or whatever. And you realize that being a professor might actually not be that fun and it might actually not be a job that you'll enjoy because you just have in your mind that like being a professor is super cool and it means that you're like the smartest person ever and oftentimes people outside of academia might actually do more complex thing than you do in academia and have a much more fun job than just being a professor because one thing is getting the position but once you get the position you also have to do the actual job so think more about 
the kind of work that you do in a job rather than the actual title. You are the protagonist of your own story. No one, not even you, can predict what your life path is going to look like and it's never going to be as straightforward as people tell you. You're going to go around in loops, have highs and lows. So don't bother too much if people think what you're doing is appropriate or not. Just do what you want to do and carve your own life path. And the very last thing that someone told me quite recently is everything will be fine in the end. And if it's not fine, it's not the end. So this is one of the major things that I've learned that hardships are going to happen, but you can get through them. Like if I went through some of the things that I've been going through recently, um, three years ago, I would have totally burned out. But now I know that I can handle them and it's going to be fine in the end. Okay, woo, those were all the life lessons that I wanted to share. You can probably tell a lot about me and my life just by looking at these lessons. If you made it this far, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And I will see you in what other next video you choose to watch from me. Bye.